Jericho movement, which deal with political prisoners. We represent most of them in the United States. Political prisoners and prisoners of war. This is our 10th anniversary. And just like with critical resistance, you know, this, this weekend is our big event. So actually, this Friday and Saturday. So I'm a, I want you all to get one of these. And the newspaper here is called Freedom Press, which is just for this 10th anniversary, and it's part of how we're creating the money. So the newspaper is the dollar. And Reed and I got this thing stapled on here because some changes happened in some of the activities and stuff that's on the card. Um, so the thing with political prisons is we want you to remember that this folks has been in there 20, 30, 40 years. This is folks from the movements of the 60s and 70s. And then there's newer political prisoners from victims of the Green Scare. And then you've got young folks like in, uh, in Los Angeles. Uh, there's an organization called the Black Riders Liberation Party. And they're all former members of the Crips and Bloods. And they formed in the prisons. They, they got politically conscious in the prisons, started reading, started organizing themselves, came out and began organizing in LA and other communities. And um, as a result of that, the, the police department and FBI found some ways to entrap them in, with some charges. Um, it was around some guns. Um, and it was classic entrapment, and I won't go into it, but at this point, there was three of the leadership arrested. At this point, two of them are out, and they're hoping that the other one will be out uh, early next year. But the reason I'm raising this is because it's not just those who've been in for decades, the system is still locking people up, like we you know with the Republican uh, convention and stuff like that. We could be tomorrow's political prisoners. So every struggle has got to deal with it. And, it, and I think it, it also helps us to keep and uh, it, to be realistic about what we're doing, what we're facing. This is the empire, you know, and the empire is very vicious and really don't care about how you feel about what it wants to do to you. You know, or break it, break you up, your families and everything. We know how they treat people. Mm -hmm. So support the political prisoners also means that you remember and be realistic about the viciousness of this system, that you remember the stories that bring these political prisoners to the fore, from Leonard Peltier, that uh, you can deal with indigenous issues, the Black Liberation Army members, you know, uh, the Black Panther Party, the Republic of New Africa, the Puerto Rican Independence Movement, whether underground, there's stories connected here that go back to the very foundations of this empire. And we can, we can keep that in mind. I think it helps us to remember what we're doing. That we're not trying to reform this system. We're not try, trying to tweak it to work better. We're trying to get rid of it so that we can live our lives. So supporting them helps us to remember that. And that's it.